this video we are going to see about the producer consumer problem it is about the multi-threading context where we will be deal dealing with two threads one for the producer and another for the consumer and the role of producer is just to produce the data and immediately notify the consumer so that consumer can consumes the data so once consumer consumes the data it should immediately notify the producer so that producer can continue its job so we can see that these two threads are communicating each other with the help of the process called notification so now we are going to see how how does it achieve and again here these two threads are going to interact with the same object going to share the same object when multiple threads are sharing the same object we need synchronization got it okay now let us start so i'm creating a project so let me create it as producer consumer i am unchecking the main class so it will be an empty project now so in the source package i am going to create the necessary classes now the both producer and consumer are going to use some common object so it need a class right for that i am going to use a simple class whose name is process data where it has a method called put and this will be used by the producer used by the producer to produce the data and I am going to use one more method which will be used by the consumer that I am going to say that void kit so now both producer and consumer is going to use the object of type process data and here I am going to use an attribute called i and this i contains the latest value whatever producer is producing the data for example the producer will be calling this put method from outside and it pass some data here for example int i and that our current object our current object i must receive that data later this data should be consumed by get for that here i am going to say that get that latest data so here also we will put some display method so that we can understand that the put is invoked so for that i am just putting saying that put i so that we can see that put for example put file get file like that we expect so once producer put some data 5 in the put method we can see that that objects attribute is getting initialized and we will say that put 5 then immediately the producer should notify the consumer right so for that after putting the data it should notify the consumer and after that it has to wait the we have to call upon the wait method if you don't call the wait method what happens the producer still it resides in the processor it will never come out of the processor then processor will not be free if the processor is processor is not free that even though the consumer thread may be in the runnable state it cannot come inside the processor so after notification we have to call the wait and here what is the importance of notification we will see very soon and here now assume that the consumer is coming inside it will get that latest data for example get file or some other data whatever the latest production and after that now it has to notify the producer again what is the significance of notify 
if we doesn't call the notification method the producer thread now uh, it's already it has been yeah here when, when here when you call the wait method the producer method the producer thread is going outside the processor and its status will be in the waiting state now if you don't call the notify from the consumer side the producer stay continually in the waiting state and it will never come back to the runnable state unless it come back to the runnable state even though the processor is free for the consumer thread it can never enter inside it will be always in the waiting state just to avoid only we are applying the notify method now so once it has been notified the producer thread who was in the waiting state now turned into runnable state but still it is waiting outside because the room is not at available for the consumer sorry producer thread so now consumer should leave for that we have to call wait and the wait throws the interrupted exception which is a checked exception like the sleep method so we need to do like this of that you understood right so i repeat so first we are assuming that the producer is calling the put method it is putting some data that attribute is getting the latest data then we are saying that put that value then it notifies initially when it calls notification there is no effect because the consumer thread is also maybe in the runnable state initial state but in the later iterations we must go for the notification so initially i am putting it here then it calls the wait method producer will exit the room so consumer who is in the runnable state will enter inside the processor and now it becomes now its status will be in the running state so running state means it will get the latest data then after that it is calling the notification so what happens the producer who was in the waiting state now his status will be changed into runnable state but he cannot still enter inside the processor the reason is yeah consumer is in the processor got it and now we have to apply wait only then consumer can leave the processor so that the room is available for the producer thread and now its status will be changed into running state that is the producer got it and now whenever we call notify notification method it should be from a synchronized to context otherwise it throws some runtime exception so i am not making i am not creating any synchronized to context now without that we are going to run it then i will show you the error which is thrown by the system then we are going to fix it so now the process data is ready so we will be creating the object for this process data this object will be shared by both threads producer and consumer now we are going to create the main class where we are generating these two threads so i am creating a java class whose name is main here i am creating the main method now i am going to create that object process data now i am going to generate producer thread for that i am creating a thread object thread producer equal new thread now as you know that one of the constructors in the thread is it can take a runnable reference so i am going to create an object where that object utilizes the runnable interface by using anonymous inner class so after typing new we can refer the runnable interface enter then once again you may press enter you can see that the whole coding is generated and remove this exception fine so this is the producer thread and uh, its body is available in the run method like this we have to
create for consumer thread generate consumer thread same step thread consumer equal new thread new runnable here put the semicolon and remove this throw new exception and all yeah now two threads are ready now what is the functionality of the producer thread call the put data some n number of times for example we will say that it calls some 10 times for int i equal to 0 i less than uh, 11 so 0 to 10 i plus plus now using the object data data dot we can call put i that's all like this in the consumer thread using the same object you can see that both threads are using the same object data data dot get got it data dot put i data dot get how many times same number of time so i am going to generate a for loop here also for int i get 0 i less than 11 i plus plus got it now we expect put 0 get 0 put 1 get 1 like that we are expecting got it put 0 then immediately we want get 1 put 1 get 1 put 2 get 2 ok now I am going to run this program and definitely it is going to throw some exception you can see that and we are going to fix that exception also ok you can see that the build is successful and nothing happened you know what is the reason threads are still in the newborn state we have to change the status into runnable state so how will you change the runnable state sure. for that producer dot start consumer dot start if you don't call these things it will be empty like that now we are going to run it and you can see that we are get i told you that we will be getting some exception that exception call is called illegal monitor state exception it is you can see that it is coming in the file main.java is calling the process dot process data dot java there is line number 31 it is showing some exception the reason is here you can see that we are applying the notification and here also you can see that here also it generates some exception so first it is getting executed that is why so whenever you call the notification method it must be from a synchronized to context so there are two ways to do the synchronization either make the method as synchronized or by using the synchronized statement so now we are using the first option synchronized method and now we can see that it is running without any exception and you can see that we are getting the expert output put 0 get 0 put 1 get 1 put 2 get 2 and you can see that the main important matter is the data is shared by both threads producer as well as consumer so whenever multiple threads so here we have two threads sharing the same object we need synchronization synchronization can be done by using synchronized method or by using synchronized statement so how will you use synchronized statement for that no need to prefix the keyword with the synchronized 
you can remove it and here the data is the object and we can synchronize the object directly here itself for that it is very easy to code synchronized open a set of parentheses and here within the set of parentheses pass the object to be synchronized and here this is the body of the synchronized block you can see that's all very easy so here also we can say that synchronized data like this and just cut it paste it here and now we can see that when you run the file you are getting the same expected output got it thanks for watching